What's up, everybody? This is Steve with Steve Snakesuary. I've been getting a lot of calls lately about people having snakes in their homes and in their in their yards and businesses and things like that. And what I want to do right now is I want to do a snake comparison video, and we're going to look at some snakes side by side and compare these snakes side by side because a lot of people are getting confused on what snakes what. They've been sending me pictures, giving me calls. They think they have one snake and they actually have another. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare some snakes side by side, okay? And uh, what I want to start out with, first of all, is I want to start out with this dude right here. This is a Texas rat snake, okay? And these guys, a lot of people think they're water moccasins because they hold their mouths wide open, okay? And uh, they also, you know, they can get very large. You can see the patterns are more like a square or rectangle on the, on the back, okay? And look at the tail. Look how long that taper is on that tail. That's a very long, skinny taper on the tail. Okay, now these guys do, these guys do have round eyes, okay? And uh, now I don't want anybody getting a snake and getting this close to a snake to look at his eye. Oh, there goes the mouth. See the mouth? These guys do that. They mimic water moccasins for a defense. He's just trying to scare me away. He's trying to, he's trying to scare me away, okay? And that's just because I'm messing with him, okay? Now, these guys do have the round eyes, but we are gonna talk about the eyes here in a little bit too. Now, what I wanna show with these guys, I got a couple of them in here, and I wanna kinda compare them. This right here is the same, same rat snake, but they consider this one a black rat snake. They consider this one a black rat because it's so dark. It does have patterns, and if you get close enough, you can see the patterns on it. But they consider this a black rat snake because if you look at this Texas rat snake, come on, dude, you can see it's got a lot more browns and yellows and reds and things like that in it, okay? And so they consider this one a black rat, but they're in the same family, okay? Now, rat snakes can get five, six feet long, okay? They can get very long and they can get very fat, okay? But again, uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna compare some snakes and we're going to show them side by side so you can see some of the differences, okay? Next snakes I want to talk about are right here. This right here is a regular yellow belly water snake. This guy looks real bad just because he's going he's going into shed. Okay, you can see some of the shed coming off. He's been soaking in his water bottle. I mean his water bowl. So, you know, just uh, you know, he looks kind of bad, but he's not really that bad, okay? And then uh, you can see the yellow belly. This is a yellow belly water snake, no patterns on the belly. Okay? These guys do have the round eyes and again the tail. It's a very, very, very long taper, okay? Now, this is a yellow belly. Here's another yellow belly water snake. Okay, now this guy's got little patterns on his back. You see how he's flattening his body out? A lot of people think they, they find snakes that are just absolutely huge, you know, as big as their thigh. But snakes flatten their body out to make themselves look bigger. And it's, a, it's just a defense mechanism, okay? And I don't know, I don't know if I can get this guy to cooperate with me. Oh, okay, yeah, just chew on my hand while we're doing a video, okay? See, he's flattening his body out. These guys are notorious for flattening their heads out into a diamond or a triangle-shaped head. He's probably, hey, I'm trying to do a video, man. Okay, he's probably not going to do it, but they can flatten their heads out into almost a perfect diamond or triangle-shaped head. And so you can't always go by the head. A lot of people think if it's got a diamond or triangle-shaped head, it's venomous. That's not true. That's absolutely not true. These guys will mimic water moccasins and cottonmills by flattening their heads out into a perfect diamond or triangle, okay? And uh, I'm going to show one more water snake. Are you going to bite me one more time? Huh? Okay, you going to be nice? All right, don't bite me. Okay. Put him back. I'm going to show one more water snake that we have here. This is a diamondback water snake, okay? Now, this guy's going into shed. You see his eyes are very, they call them blue. They're very cloudy looking, okay? So this guy is normally, you know, his colors, you can't really see his patterns and colors and things like that, okay? But he does have like little squares or rectangles on his back. And I know they're real hard to see because he's going into shed. I know they're real hard to see. But this is a diamondback water snake. A lot of people get these confused with water moccasins and cottonmouths, but they're not, okay? And I wish this guy really wasn't going into shed so you could see his patterns real well. Uh, but again, the long taper on the tail, the other thing I wanted to point out on these guys, you can see it better on this one than the smaller ones. These guys have keeled scales, okay? Keeled scales, which means that they're raised up. They're real rough. Now, I don't want anybody picking up a snake, you know, to try to feel it to see. But what, these guys have keeled scales, which are raised up. They're real rough. Water moccasins do not. Water moccasins have smooth scales, okay? 
And uh, so that's another difference between these guys and water moccasins. These guys, again, can mimic water moccasins or cotton mouths by flattening their heads, so you can't go by the head shape, okay? But the tail, the killed scales, they do have round eyes, even though I don't want anybody getting close enough to a snake to check out the eyes, okay? Nobody ever, ever do that. And again, I want to mention, too, just because you see me picking up snakes does not mean if you see one in your yard that you go pick it up, okay? I don't want anybody getting hurt or getting bit, okay? Let me move these guys over and get these guys out right here. Now, one thing I do want to mention is wipe that blood off a little bit, is I do have professional bite-proof gloves, okay? These are not just gloves you get at the hardware store, okay? Uh, those are actually bite-proof gloves from a company called Snake Professional. Uh, they are specifically for this right here, okay? These are not just normal gloves, okay? I want to stress that point, too. Now, put my gloves on here. Now, I'm going to show a couple different snakes here. This right here is a juvenile water moccasin, okay? Now, what I like to say about these guys, they do have the quote-unquote cat slit eyes, okay? But again, nobody get close enough to a snake to look at his eyes. The reason their heads are diamond or triangle shape is because right behind their eyes, they have their venom glands. That what, that's what makes their face real fat. It makes it that diamond or triangle shape. And one thing I wanted to point out with these, this is a juvenile, okay? Quit, dude, I'm trying to do a video. All right, look, I like to call these like lightning bolt patterns. It almost looks like a lightning bolt going down his, down his side. They're real squiggly lines, okay? Now look at his tail, he's rattling his tail. Notice that little green tip or that little yellowish tip? They use that because water moccasins eat fish and frogs and things like that. They do eat mice too, but they use that. Get, there you go, get your fang out of me, quit. They use that to attract their prey. Okay, they use that to try to get the frogs and the fish and things like that so they can eat. And, and I'm trying to get his tail. He's not, he's not cooperating with me too well. Maybe I can show it on the other one. Their tail isn't real long and slender like the other ones. Their tail is real short and fat. See how it's a real short taper right there? How it gets real fat and then real skinny? Can you see that on the video? Right there by my first finger, right there. It's real fat and then it gets real skinny real quickly. It's not a long, skinny taper like the other ones. That's another big difference. And again, these guys, see he's flattening his body out to make himself look bigger? A lot of people think, oh my God, this water moccasin was as big as my thigh. That's only because he was flattening his body out to make himself look fatter, okay? Again, these guys have smooth scales. Do not pick up a snake just to try to see if it's smooth or rough, okay? Let me show another water moccasin. And I'm going to show these side by side. This one's just a little bit older, okay? This one is a lot darker. You notice how he, you can't really see the patterns on this one. As water moccasins get older, they lose their patterns. They get a darker brown or darker black or something like that, and they lose those patterns. Okay, and they also lose that yellow green tip on their tail. Can you see his tail? Yeah, see, he doesn't have that yellow or green tip on his tail anymore. Okay, okay, and both of these are water moccasins. You see the difference in them? As they get older, they lose those patterns. Okay, and uh, so now the other thing I want to do, while I'm still holding this one with patterns, put this one back. We're going to hold them side by side. I'm going to go ahead and get this dude right here out. This is a copperhead. Now, they also, when they're younger, had the yellow or green tips on their tails. Now, you notice the Hershey, it looks like a Hershey kiss on the side. Can you see the Hershey kiss pattern? Or if you turn it upside down, if you look at it straight on, it almost looks like an hourglass. Okay? Hourglass or Hershey kiss. Copperheads keep these patterns their whole life. They never lose these patterns, as it, whereas water moccasins lose their patterns as they get older. Now, if you look at them side by side, I don't want to bite each other. If you look at them side by side, you can tell the difference. You can see the difference. Okay, see this looks like lightning bolts going down the side, and this looks like a Hershey kiss. Okay, now let me show the, the big water moccasin, well, the older water moccasin. He's still not big. Oh, get that bedding off of him. Now, you see the differences, okay? Here's the, water mo here's the water moccasin right here, okay? And here's the copperhead. The copperhead's a lot lighter, okay? And both of these are hemo have a hemotoxic venom, which deals with your blood, messes with your blood, okay? And they do give off a musk. I know what they smell like. I can tell you if I'm walking up on one or not. I know what they smell like. Uh, some people say watermelons and 
weird thing, cucumbers and all that. I don't know about all that, but they do give off a musk. Okay, and uh, and like I said, uh, you can't go by the eye patterns. Oh, now are pit vipers. Water moccasins and copperheads are pit vipers. Okay, they have the small pits behind their behind their run around, around their eyes to help them smell and things like that. Now, we do have coral snakes here in Louisiana. Coral snakes are highly venomous. They have a neurotoxic venom. They have round eyes. You cannot go by the eyes because we have coral snakes that have round eyes. You cannot say all venomous snakes have cat slit eyes, okay? There's snakes in other countries, venomous snakes in other countries that have round eyes. It's just the pit vipers that have the cat slit eyes, okay? And so let me compare these. I'm gonna hold this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do these one at a time. Hey, quit, quit! All right, let me compare these. Here's a copperhead and Come here. Here's a rat snake. Okay, you see the difference in the patterns? Can you see the patterns? Okay. No, get back in there. All right, and here is the baby water moccasin compared to the rat snake. Can you see the patterns? Am I showing it good enough? Okay. And here's the old water, older water moccasin compared to the rat snake. Let me hold this rat snake back up. Hang on. Come here. Come here. All right. Can you see it? Can, and can you see it very well? Okay. All right. Now let me get these uh, regular water snakes out. Compare them. Okay. Let's shut that lid so they don't get out. Hear the tail rattling? That's the rat snake over there. All right. Here's the diamondback water snake compared with the water moccasin. Can you see the difference in the patterns? And whoa, buddy. Get back in there, man. All right, now, a regular water snake, woo, green. I mean, the yellow belly water snake has more of a green color, and the water moccasins may have more black or brown or gray. They're not really green like these water snakes are. Let me get this one, this last one out over here. Oh, goodness. Come here. Come here. There you go. Come here. Come here. Come here. I don't think he wants to be on video anymore. There you go. Okay, now, you see the difference in them, okay? Water snakes are, are more of an army green color and then they have no patterns on the belly. Water moccasins, you can see the patterns on the belly. He looks like he's going into shit too. Can you see the patterns on the belly? Okay, and regular, regular water snakes do not. But again, do not pick up a snake, turn it over and look at the belly. Do not pick up a snake to feel the scales. Do not pick up a snake to look at the eyes. Okay, just because you see me handling snakes does not mean that you hold a snake also, okay? Here's one more thing I want to show you. Check this out. Is this snake chasing me? Let me run away. Is he chasing me? That water moccasin is not chasing me. Look. He's not chasing me. Look. Even when I get in his face. Look, watch. Wait. Hang on, dude. Look. He's going to hold his mouth open. He's holding his mouth open. But he's trying to get away. Look. Watch. He'll try to get away. He's not chasing me. Let me run away. It's a water moccasin. Oh, my gosh. He's going the other way. He's not chasing me. Water moccasins. Look. He's holding his mouth open. That's a classic water moccasin right there. Okay? Flattening his body out. Look at that body. It's getting fatter. Okay? These guys, I've caught hundreds of these. Hundreds, big ones, little ones, medium ones. None of them chase me. None of them. Absolutely none of them. Okay, water moccasins, they have bitten me like right when I caught them because look, that's their only defense. Their only defense is to bite. They don't have arms, they don't have legs. They wanna bite and get away, okay? They wanna bite and get away, you know? And, and most of the time they just wanna get away. The only reason they bite is because they sit there play at them, you know, you're poking at them, you're antagonizing them, you know, you're you're messing with them too much. But look, I'm messing with this guy, he's not aggressive, he's not aggressive. And like I said, I've caught hundreds of these, and none of them have ever chased me. Let's try it one more time. Third time's a charm, right? Let's see. Let me run away, it's water moccasin. Oh my gosh, he's not chasing me. Oh my gosh, look at that, he's trying to get away. He's not chasing me at all. 
at all. Look at that. Okay, so that's a water moxin, okay? And again, those are highly venomous snakes. Just because you see me messing with them does not mean you mess with them, okay? And again, you know, like I said, we wanted to do a, a comparison video. It's getting kind of dark out here. It's getting, a, it's getting ready to rain. I hope you guys can see the patterns. I hope you guys can see the, uh, the differences in some of those. Again, you know, I mean, if you guys, let me put that lid back on that one. If you guys have a snake in your yard, your business, your house, something like that, you can shoot me an email. You can check out Steve Snake Sanctuary, you know, snakesanctuary.com, stevesnakesanctuary.com. You can send me an email. You can call me, send me a text with a picture. I'll gladly identify that snake for you. And if you're in my area, I'll come get it for you, okay? I'd rather come get the snake than you kill it, okay? I don't want anybody getting hurt. I don't want anybody getting bit, uh, even by a non-venomous snake. I would rather, but I also don't want the snakes getting killed either, okay? So I don't want anybody getting bit. Don't try to catch the snake for me. But if you have one, you can call me. I'll come get it. I'll come rescue that snake, okay? We've been getting a lot of calls, and I'm hoping this video helped you guys, you know, see snakes side by side, compare them, and see some of the differences. So if you guys have any questions, send me an email, send me a text, give me a call. And uh, again, this is Steve with Steve Sanctuary. We'll see you guys next time.